What's up, guys? I'm here with JB, Know It All JB. Bradley back here with the Zeal Star Review. Today, we got a little bit of a street fight going on. We got Camacho versus my father, but it's Fresh Crack Friday, so we got a new run we're trying out all next on the Zeal Cigar Review. So what you got over there? So this is better than your cigar, plain, plain and simple. Better than my, my cigar? My father is better than Camacho. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm, I'm just going to say it. You know, I got the, my war stripes on ready. The Nicaragua get rated higher on um, Cigar Aficionado. Unfortunately, Cigar Aficionado got it wrong, and uh, I'm here to contest that. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting a petition and everything else like that to say that they actually got it wrong. So, so what are you smoking from them that you're saying they got wrong? I, I, I'm smoking the Fonseca. Now, Ooh. this got the Cigar of the Year for me. This is my father's crown jewel right now. If you've not had this cigar, I don't know where you've been. I don't know why you're not smoking it because it is the best medium body cigar in the entire world to me. It's one of the best cigars I've had this past year, and it got my number one if you saw one of my other videos. But you are attesting that Camacho's better. Go ahead and I, plead your case. Plead your case I, to the court. That Nicaragua is one of my favorites, and since that Nicaragua is one of my favorites, and we're drinking some rum, I'm smoking the Camacho Nicaragua. Oh. Barrel oh, age, that which is, is a good one cigar. of my personal favorite cigars. That's a good cigar. It's not a great stick, okay? It's but a it's great a stick. <laughs> but it's not a great stick. So it's a very, very good stick. It's I actually so like good. that stick as well. And so we're 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 doing two samplers for you today. I have the My Father sampler right here, the underrated My Father, and Justin has the underrated Camacho sampler, which definitely includes that number seventeen by Cigar mm. Aficionado, Camacho Nicaragua. So, but. We're not just doing that. Ooh, it's Fresh Crack what Friday, else we baby. Got today? Some Appleton Estate 12 year oh. Jamaican inspired rum. Jamaican rum. Jamaican Dude, I'm rum. Pumped. So I'm looking forward to trying this as well. Uh, Justin's been raving about it the whole time. We had a buddy of ours go get it and bring it in for us today. So uh, he's reading the back, trying to trying yeah, to Grant, educate himself on that. Grant so, the family uh, Grant the family attorney. Yeah, yeah. Grant went and got it for us. Another buddy <laughs> in the shop. So it's been great and uh, it looks good. So we're going to be smoking these cigars, Dude, drinking some Fresh Crack Friday rum, and. I feel, ooh. Ooh, popping bottles. Ooh. Pop it, does it smell good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. A little banana. <laughs> ooh, banana. Banana, bro. Banana? A banana, bro. Banana? Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. I can smell that from Dude, here. That aroma is gorgeous. Oh, uh, when you said banana? You thought I was kidding. I did. Come on, bro. Okay, now the... Ooh. Oh, we got a banger. We got a banger, dude. Oh, wow. This is going to be good. Oh, I don't wow. drink a lot of rum. I don't time. either, and this is fantastic already. I'm almost mad I don't. Now it's time for the sip. Wow. Definitely tropical. Dude, that's great. It's so good. Dude, that is really good. <laughs> oh, Appleton Estate. Can you send us more bottles, bro? Please. Oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. This is that's, really good. That's really, 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 really good rum. Oh, and wow. Like, I'll be honest. I've I, The rums I've drank, you know, Malibu Spike, you know, Coconut Rum, mm -hmm. Captain uh, Captain Morgan and, you know, 7-Up or Ginger Ale. And uh, what's the other rum I've had? Uh, oh, Sailor Jerry is what I used to oh, okay. drink a lot of. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, you know, one of the things that rum always does for me is it always leaves like a like a sour taste in my mouth, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting no, this like it's so sweet. super sweetness. It. I mean, I'm telling you what, bananas, guys, bananas. But it's bananas. It's bananas. But it's got to pair with the cigar. So now we got to cut, light, and smoke. smoke. Sweet, arom aromatic. I mean, it's got some good vanilla. I mean, vanilla, caramely, incredibly caramely. Oh, really, really sweet on the retro hill. I don't know how in the world this thing did not get, like, number three, four, you know. Is this, the question is, is this better than the Pledge by EPC? No. Well, I would say it's in a different category altogether. I would say it's a different category. So, EPC is incredibly complex, really, really dark, Sp rich. That's, yeah, the spiciness is unlike anything mm -hmm. else that we've ever had. But I would say this, for the everyday smoker, I think it's a better cigar. Yeah? Yeah, for the everyday smoker, better cigar. Definitely better value, cigar. too. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it's so good. Now, so, see, what's your favorite My Father's Stick, though? 
This one. That one? Hands down. Hands down. That one? Yeah, it was the Florida Florida Antilles. Florida Las Antilles. Yeah. Uh, that comes in the sampler. But uh and, I, and that's why I chose the sampler the way I did. I wanted to put my top three, my fathers with the top three Fonzecas right here. And the same with yours. You know, we chose the American, the Nicaragua, and the Imperial Stout to go with the Nicaragua Camachos. Now have you had that before? Yeah, this is one of my favorite sticks, actually. Okay. This okay. is something I smoke on the regular. Um, nice full-bodied stick. Uh, it's got a really strong Corojo leaf in it. Mm. Um, so it is a strong stick. Um, it's a good one to sit down and with, with, a, with a nice drink and mm -hmm. at the end of the week and just sit back and relax. Um, I will say this, though. The rum is so sweet that it's actually made this um, very grassy and earthy, which I've never tasted from this cigar before. Let's see how this tip bears. Banana pancakes. <laughs> Banana pancakes. <laughs> Freaking pancakes again. Banana pancakes. Dang it with the no. pancakes. No, I'm just joking. Lots of vanilla. I got lots of vanilla in this. Um, that 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 bread breadiness. That that uh, almost gingerbread. Um, gingerbread. And some. I'm telling you what, dude. Bananas. Gingerbread. Yeah. I haven't thought about that as being a flavor from that. Mm -hmm. Well, That's gingerbread. Gingerbread. I mean, particularly paired with this rum, I get a lot of gingerbread. With it, it's very, very delicious. Oh man, mm. that rum is so good. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I can't. I mean, I, I, and quite honestly, this pairs better with the bur this pairs better than with the bourbon I had originally with it. Really? Uh, yeah, very, very good. I'm not a rum guy. I'm just not, not a rum either. guy. But this I mean, so good. we're taking a shot at it. We might with be fresh crack Friday, but I'm we, telling you what, we might have just been changed men right here. Mm hmm. What do you guys prefer with your cigars? Yeah. What do you prefer? Do you prefer bourbon, coffee. rum, coffee, vodka, vodka, vodka? Who put vodka? I don't know, bro. In Russia, every drink has vodka. Russia. In Soviet Russia, oh, cigar so smoke you. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's an absolute delicious cigar. It really. It, I mean, very few cigar. I, I just mean this genuinely. Very few cigars. Can I give to anybody and say you'll like it when you smoke it the first time you smoke it? This is one of them. Ooh. This is definitely one of them. That's a big deal. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're right. There are very few that, like, you could literally give to anybody. Right, right. Because everybody's so different in their palates. Like mm. The way it smokes, the ash is holding on perfectly, the light's perfect. Everything is great on the cigar. It's, it's aesthetically, it's beautiful. Um, so... I mean, with that said, have you guys had this cigar mm. yet? If you've had this cigar, drop a comment below and let us know what you thought about the cigar and what did you pair it with? This is a lot better after I've taken a drink of the rum and I've sat and I've smoked a couple puffs through. Mm -hmm. Then, like, it really settles in nicely. Okay, okay. I got banana pancakes. <laughs> I know, I know. I got banana pancakes with some gingerbread. I mean, it's like banana and ginger in there. Banana, some, gingerbread, it's, pancakes? It's it's beautiful. Gotta it matter. really is. I know. I know everyone's going to laugh at me and blow me up in the comments, but try it. Try it with this rum and tell me if you won't agree. It's really, really good. It's that good. So if you're saying that that one should be bumped up on the list. Yeah. How much higher? at least top five yeah in my personal opinion i mean i, I made that statement ahead of time before mm -hmm. cigar aficionado ever released her video very true and i have no idea why this wasn't ranked higher i mean there's a bunch of other cigars ranked before it uh i'm really disappointed in them because i think this is actually one of the best cigars i've had in a very long time and it's one of the best cigars you can give to anybody mm. that's what's really hard to find in a cigar a cigar that not only you like but you think everybody else is going to like yeah because with with you know with the with with the palate's a little bit developed, uh, you tend to smoke a lot of stronger cigars. And the very first time I smoked this, I remember that my father, Rhett Bryan, giving this to me and telling me, asking me what I thought. And I said, I think it's a top 10 banger. The first time I smoked it, I said, I think it's a top 10 banger. Mm. It's that good. Sweet, delicious. I mean, just all it's, around great. It's one of my top three My Father sticks. I have a really hard time. I, I really like the Don Pepin. Which is also in this sampler. Um, you got a problem with my father? Is that what's going on, dude? We fighting right now? What's going on, bro? You want to throw hands? Bro, if I threw hands with you, I, I get tired. I, get I win, bro. <laughs> you do. <laughs> That's a big bottle. It's a big bottle. I'm, a, I'm almost the other way. Mm -hmm. Like, this cigar is so good on its own. Mm -hmm. I really have to limit how much rum I'm drinking with it. Because mm -hmm. it just it makes it a little grassier. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is not a grassy stick. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, it's not a grassy stick. It's a good stick, too. It's so good. It's a very good oh, stick. Man. I like it better than the American, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I've smoked both of them. You heard it here, folks. Anti-American. It's okay. I love you, America. I'm here for you. Justin, not so much. The bottle. The bottle. Ah. <laughs> let's let's just jump into it. Yeah. It's a hard time in America right now. It is. It's a hard time for a lot of people. A lot of people. You know, uh, Texas, we're praying for you. We love you. No Snowstorms. I know. That's crazy, man. Dang, Seriously. And we lived in the snow. We know what it's like to have power and live in the snow, let alone not have any power. Before. Right, right, right. I mean, it was, it's was. it been cold here in Arizona for a couple of days. 40s, it's going to be 70 30s. something. It's going to be 70 something this weekend. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's only I'm 65 right now, so. Yeah, I mean, it's. But I mean, for us, that's cold because we know that water <laughs> freezes here at 60 degrees. But it's got nothing on you guys suffering in Texas. So just so you know, Texas, we're praying for you. Love you. And uh, you guys will get through this. I hear they're chopping down fences. What? They're, to they're, burn the yeah, wood? And, yeah, burn the wood. And uh, some people are going outside and chopping down 100 year old trees in their backyard just to burn wood. It's a rough time, dude. It really is wow. a rough time, sincerely. So it doesn't that, start warming up soon, bro. It's, I'm, we're so used to 90 plus that, like, it's just weird. Our cars run weird. Plus, you Everything's keep trying weird. to get me into some cold water. I know. Oh, dude, wait till that comes. <sighs> We're going to get polar bear swim right here, dude. So so there's this place. You guys probably saw another video that I did called... Uh, what's it called? Bullpen. Yeah, you, did it with your, you were there with your family, right? I was with my family, my kids. Yeah, I took my dogs kids and stuff. Took a day off and everything like that. Uh, we're going to go back there. Justin and I are going to go back there. And we're going to do a cigar review in, like, 50-degree freezing water. Because your boy got some padding on him. Your boy does not have any padding on him. So we're going to see who gets hypothermia first. Smoking cigars. <laughs> smoking like cigars, ter- you know. Hypothermia yeah, first. In the, uh, I'm going to be in, butt in ass naked, so I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> No, I am not okay. Cause with I ain't that. gonna get hypothermia if I'm butt naked. Uh, yeah, you will. Nah, I'm gonna put my warm, put my nice warm clothes right back on, bro. You want bear grills? Oh, bear grills. What he all fake? What? What he all fake? Wouldn't bear grills like exposed as a faker? Dude was like British special forces, bro. Yeah, but like, didn't everything he did was fake though on film? They even put. I, I, I mean, they put a thing at the beginning. Survivor that says, man. Some, Survivor man. Some. Survivor man wasn't fake. Naked and afraid. Survivor man. Naked. Oh, dude, that's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's going to be us, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. It will not <laughs> be ass. us. I hope you know I'm how not. to do blurs on your editing. Nope, nope, nope. I don't. We're not going to do that. But tell me, what was the coldest winter you can remember in Ohio? I was probably eight or nine. Mm-hmm. So it would have been in like 99, yeah. 2000-ish. Yeah, yep. There was a really bad ice storm that hit after it yeah. snowed. Yep. And it was in southern Ohio, which... Mm-hmm. Columbus is like the cutoff, so when you go north, then it gets like really bad snow, real bad lake effect, and then mm-hmm. when you go south, it can be like five to ten degrees warmer mm-hmm. once you go south of Columbus. True story. Um, and uh, we got a ton of snow, and then just a sheet, just this ice storm came in and coated all the snow with ice. Okay. And uh, I remember walking outside and breaking like inch thick ice, and then Ooh. having like six inches of snow or more <sighs> underneath it. Okay. And it was so bad and cold that year. Okay. Um, Pipes were breaking and stuff in the yeah. houses. We had them running. Yeah, it yeah. was crazy. It was it was cold. Um, well, so that same ice storm I remember. Really? Uh, yeah, being in Cincinnati because I remember the ice storm coming over. So it was crazy. My, my parents actually lived out of the city for a little bit. They lived in front of a horse farm uh, on a place called Rich Road. It's our. It's pretty much where I grew up, if you would, from the time I was like twelve to. I don't know, 30 until I'm 30. No, I got married when I was 12 to 20, if you would. I got married when I was 20. Um, but I remember going back there because I was doing a, uh, I was doing a wedding. I was a pastor for a while, mm-hmm. and I was doing a wedding. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get my dad's four wheel drive. I wanted to borrow his four wheel drive uh, uh, Explorer. I wanted to go up the driveway. We had a driveway that kind of went down and around. And uh, I couldn't walk up the, I couldn't get up the steps because my dad said, "Don't use steps; you're gonna slip on the steps." We had these concrete steps. He says, "Go around." So I couldn't get around. So my dad opens the garage and slides two hammers to me. So I turn him around and I have to climb, like ice climb, up my driveway, up and around in my front yard just to get in the front door. What? And the and the forerunner, or not the forerunner, but the uh, the explorer, couldn't make it out of the uh, driveway. Driveway didn't have much of a pitch just like that, but I really couldn't. I couldn't get out of it. So I remember it being that cold, and I remember it being like so cold. Like uh, we had uh, we had the heat up, and and we had a fireplace. It was unbelievably cold. And I remember my dad not wanting to open up the fireplace, more wood in, 
because it was so cold blowing down the chimney. What? It was so cold just blowing down the chimney. He was like, "We're gonna once the fire's out, we're gonna leave it out, we're gonna close everything up, and I'll probably insulate that to keep it keep it off because there's Dang. cold air coming in, even with the flue closed." So I remember it being that cold, dude. Snow's no joke. Make sure you guys are staying safe, and we'll be praying for you and thinking about you here at Zill Cigars. And if you need something to smoke while you're you know while you're waiting, while you're we got something stuck for you. up at home. We got yeah. something for you. Okay, we got a Camacho underrated sampler and a my father underrated sampler both these cigars we thought should have been much more highly rated by cigar aficionado so we're picking a fight with the big boys that's okay we don't mind uh but if you want click in the, look in the description below we'll leave the links to those samplers in here uh, do me a favor rate the cigar mm. This, this cigar gets a gets a nine for me, man. Nine? It's okay. one of the better. Okay. It's, in my opinion, other than the Nicaragua, this is one of my, like the actual Nicaragua. Yeah. This is one of my favorite Camacho sticks, hands down. Okay. And obviously, I, we know what you think of that one. I would say 10. I can't rate it 10. 9.5 at least. Really, really good stick you can give to anybody. So if you want to smoke a cigar or you think about getting the cigars, this is a sample you want to get, including that sampler as well. Get both of them. They're both worth it. So... But, uh, There's a wide variety of sticks in there, too. Really, really good. Good variety of sticks. So with that said, guys, we're out of here like last year, and we'll catch you next time in Zill Cigar Review. Peace.